Welcome to the channel. The title might sound bold, maybe even like clickbait, but it's not just a provocation, and it's not me saying it. It's Bruce Perrins, the man who coined the term open source itself. Bruce Perrins is not just anyone. He's a pioneer in the Linux world, one of the first project leaders of Debian, the author of the Debian Free Software Guidelines, and one of the founding fathers of the open source movement. And now, he says the open source model is broken. Why? because it's based on a structural vulnerability, the lack of return from those who benefit the most from it, without giving anything back. Perrins is referring to large corporations that build billion-dollar businesses using free and open software, while the original developers struggle to pay their bills, relying on donations and crowdfunding to survive. And whether you like it or not, that's the same exact idea I shared in my video about the hypocrisy of some open source YouTubers. These creators build their channels on top of open source software, they showcase free projects, they speak to an open source audience, but they release their content under proprietary licenses, monetizing everything, often earning thousands or tens of thousands of dollars a month. Some even claim it's just their copyright. But to me, it's hypocrisy, borderline theft. But back to Bruce Perrins, whose words carry much more weight than mine. He's launching something called PostOpen, a new model designed to go beyond open source and address its foundational problems. The idea is simple. Let everyone use the software freely, individuals, communities, even businesses, but ask for a fee from those generating significant revenue, starting at a threshold of $5 million. In exchange, those companies would get a single license allowing them to use all PostOpen software. Some say it's unrealistic. But remember, when Bruce Perrins helped launch open source, that too sounded unrealistic. And it's worth noting, he's already won a lawsuit against Open Source Security Inc. for violating the GPL. He knows the system and its flaws inside and out. So is open source dead? I don't know. But what I do know is that the open source model is vulnerable, and Bruce Perrins is using strong words to wake up a community that often turns a blind eye to economic imbalance. Personally, I believe in stricter rules, not just for big tech corporations, but also for content creators. That's the space I'm in. If we use open source to build our work, and if we earn money from it, a lot of money, we owe something back. That's just fair. Under Perrins' vision, the money collected would be redistributed to the actual contributors, using trusted intermediary organizations and systems to verify usage and track who contributed to what. Open source doesn't mean free ride. It means freedom and responsibility. Thanks for watching.